Hey you guys, welcome back to Rolling With Stone. So today I'm going to do a video on some products that I'm liking and some products that I'm not liking as much as others. And all of the products are going to be very affordable, something that you can probably get at the drugstore, Walmart, or something like that. Now don't forget the contest is still running if you wanted to win the two Gian Batista Valley lipsticks. So you can submit your video all the way up until next Thursday. So let's just jump right into it. The first product is going to be this Nutri Gina Hydro Boost Gel. Not one of my favorites just because my face still feels really dry after I apply the product even when I apply it heavily. So after this is gone I definitely won't be purchasing it again. The Milani Brow Tip Pen, definitely one of my holy grails is what I use to fill in my brows and the color Natural Taupe. Now the NYX Auto Brow Pencil, hated it terribly chalky goes on chunky this is some crap but nyx micro brow pencil is a dead on dupe for anastasia beverly hills brow wiz pencil it is very good maybelline's fit me concealer i love this stuff my friend told me to try it and i've been hooked ever since so i'm just using a little bit to clean up my brows the consistency of it is really good the coverage is great it's easy to work with and very cheap i love it also this elf brush it's like a little small concealer brush only a dollar and it does wonders for my eyebrows the nyx conceal correct and contour palette i can't say enough good things about it i use the orange shade right here a lot for color correcting if you're lighter than me you can mix these two together and it'll make a nice peach shade I usually use my finger to do my color correcting I find that I get more coverage that way the difference between this one and the one by Anastasia Beverly Hills one this is a lot more tacky on to foundation now the black opal even true foundation the whole formula of this foundation reminds me so much of Kat Von D Locket foundation, which I love. But the color, the color, the actual color of the foundation, it just was kind of greenish and it didn't work. So kind of disappointed. But I am a fan of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. It is one of my favorites for the hot summer months. And that's what I'm wearing today using Real Techniques Blending Sponge, which I really love this sponge. Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Now this will always be one of my all time favorite foundations just because the it gives you a very natural look and it's buildable to a full coverage. But I'm using it just around the perimeter of my face just to warm it up a little bit because the other foundation left me just a tad bit light. Going back into that NYX Cream Contour Palette, I like to use that dark shade but for a subtle highlight I like to mix these two together. This is the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. Now this thing reminds me of one of um, MAC's highlighting sticks that they have in like three or four different colors. I mean even the way, the, the way it feels, even the way you twist it up at the bottom is exactly like it. The way it applies, I mean exactly like that product. The coverage is really good and it brightens very well. I'm impressed with the product. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer just to do another layer of highlight. Now honestly you guys, I don't know if this is something that you guys have to do or should do. I just saw somebody else do it, just to be honest, so that's why I'm doing it. I do really like how my makeup turned out, so I'm going to try this technique a few more times before I give you like my honest opinion of it. The Revlon Nearly Naked Face Powder has been one of my favorites for almost a year now. I really like this powder, but the only thing is I usually wear the color deep. And as of the past couple months, I have not been able to find that color anywhere, only medium deep. Now, this powder is just the mineralized skin finish by MAC. I like to use deep dark to bronze my skin. This is LA Girls Glide Gel Liner in the color Champagne. I like to use this for my waterline. It really helps open up the eyes and it's so smooth, so it feels comfortable in that area. 
just applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I really like the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. It really gives you a nice dewy finish when you're not wearing as much powder as I'm wearing today. Ardell number 134 lashes are my all time favorite eyelashes. And I like to pair them up with a brown pair of lashes because I always double stack my lashes. And today I'm going to be using Andrea's number 33s. This is the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. I really love this product. This is probably my favorite product for the summer. It's a gold, gold highlighter that has really, really light, light color gold reflex in it. And it goes on so pretty. So the light gold part I applied just right in my inner corners of my eyes to open it up. And then I sort of just run the brush through the rest of the product uh, to go ahead and highlight the top of my cheekbones. And it gives me a nice, beautiful glow. I'm lining my lips using Burgundy Lip Liner by MAC. And then the lipstick that I'm going to use today is actually by Ruby Kisses. It's one of her matte lipsticks and the name of the color is Nude Rose. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, thank you for rolling with Stone.